In the late spring of 2015, from a Volkswagen point of view, the car world appeared to be to a great extent a firm. The processing plants were murmuring, and specialists were taking a shot at elite tasks, for example, the Golf R400 and extravagance models like the following Phaeton. At that point the diesel embarrassment struck, and Volkswagen was flipped around. The aftermath saw a vital move toward electric versatility and the winnowing of some superior projects. One that survived, notwithstanding, is the UP. GDI. Affirm, we'll drop the self-important outcry point that VW adds to the UP's name starting now and into the foreseeable future. It has required VW a curiously long investment to offer the UP GTI for sale to the public. We drove a model back in mid-2012, and we were expecting a market dispatch by 2014. Be that as it may, 2014 went back and forth, lastly in mid-2016 we were dealt with to a 89 horsepower TSI adaptation of the UP, fitted with a 1.0-liter 3-chamber, a 5-speed manual, and a fairly comfort-situated suspension. In spite of the fact that we valued that tepid model, it was no GDI. In any case, now the UP GTI has at long last arrived. It remains on an intensive track and 17 inch haggles dark and red outside accents and an addition to rooftop spoiler, making this auto about as shameless as a mini car can get. Inside, there is the trademark plaid GTI texture with red sewing on sportier yet at the same time agreeable seats. Volkswagen brings up that, at 114 pull.